Hi, in this video I'm going to be going over the Dropbox Capture add-on or feature for Dropbox. And what that'll do is it'll allow you to capture things like uh, videos, screenshots, audio, and that sort of thing. And it'll put them directly into your Dropbox so you don't need any third-party software to take these captures. And then you don't have to worry about exporting them from that software and then uploading them into your Dropbox account. So once you go to the uh, Capture website, so I'll put a link in the description, you just click on Allow and it'll connect to your Dropbox account to capture and so it's probably a good idea to be logged into Dropbox before you start this and then I'll show you how it works because this is already connected so I can't go through that process so once you're there you'll have a capture folder created for you right in your Dropbox account and I have some uh, samples that I did from before in there and then it'll also put a little capture tool down here in your uh, system tray that you could just click on right here and you'll have selections such as screen recording and camera. So this will record video and a webcam if you have a webcam. You could do a screen recording, which is just video, or just a screenshot picture, or just audio, or just your webcam. So first, let me get this, I'll show you for this dog here. I got this dog picture here. So let's do a screenshot. So the one tricky thing is when you click on it, so you got this X thing here, and you need to draw a box around what you want to capture, but it doesn't show you what you're doing. You just have to assume that you're doing it right. So if I go all the way here, drag and hold, and then let go, you'll see. It'll take a second to get there, depending on what it is. So there's my picture with the whole screen. And then if I do it again, and then I just put the imaginary box around the dog and then go back to my screen here you'll see it took just the uh, the dog picture so you have to assume wherever you drag and release that that's going to be what it's capturing otherwise you know you're not going to know exactly what you're capturing there okay and then the next one we're going to do this video here the same thing applies so screen recording so just kind of click and then let go. Then you'll see you have this little toolbar here where you can mute it, exit it, and start recording. So you click on start recording. And then you can, you know, you can restart, redo, and cancel, and that kind of thing. So you see you got this little countdown timer. So if we start it, the video, let it run for a second. Okay, and then when we're done, click on stop. Now it's uploading. Since it's a video, it's not going to be as instant as a picture. Pause this here. Okay, so now we have our capture. It'll play it right in the capture screen. And then also, you can see we have our recording here. And if we click on that, it should open in a window as well. You start redo and cancel and that kind of thing. And then as you can see, it recorded my voice as well as the video. We start it. So it's going through the same computer. Let it run for a second. Okay, so there's video. So we did screenshot and video. And then we have audio recording if we wanted to do that. So then you can just click on that. It'll have the same uh, type of screen here where you can click on start and then record what you're saying. And... I'm not sure if this will capture through here since I'm using it technically on a different computer since this is a virtual machine I'm running this in. So once we click on stop, let's see what happens. Okay, so there's a recording. Record what you're saying. And I'm not sure if this will capture through here since I'm using it technically on a different computer. Okay. So that worked as well. So yeah, so like I said, just go to the uh, capture website, tie your or link your Dropbox account to it and then install the software and then you could just have your little thing down here and then you could pick what you want to capture and you'll be good to go. Alright, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.